Joining us from Paris for an exclusive interview, Paul Ermela, the chief executive of Capgemini, to discuss the company's results. Mr. Ermela, thank you very much for joining us today. Are you confident about the second half of the year? We think the outlook looks very nice. Just one little question. Clearly, our second half of 17 was significantly higher. So the comparison base is more demanding, but with that reservation, slight one, we are confident on H on H2. And will it be cloud and other emerging technologies that continue to drive the ship forward? First, it, it's a continuing trend. First, the, the main factor for us is the fact that technology spent are no longer originated by the IT department, the chief information officer, but by many business executives. Today we speak of digital marketing with the chief marketing officer. Tomorrow we'll speak about digital manufacturing with the head of engineering, the head of production. So technology, information technology, data become truly pervasive everywhere and that's that's the main disruption and it's a very positive for us digital and cloud represent now 45 percent of our revenue yeah how's competition in europe we had the atos sintel deal does that make your life a little bit more difficult in the space the first point is the sintel acquisition clearly aims the u.s market Sintel uh, looks very close to the iGate acquisition we concluded three years ago, in July 15. So uh, it's a sign that Atos follows us in terms of addressing the market with a strong Indian platform. I must confess I understand it because the iGate integration has been outstanding. So I, I understand what they do. I get the feeling that I was three years ahead. So if you're three years ahead, uh, I'm sure ATOS or Sintel will be looking to see where you go next. Where are you looking when it comes to acquisitions now? As I said, first, the, the, key, the key domain for acquisition, there is one very hot segment where there are not many acquisitions. One is currently going on and we wait for the certificate for a foreign investment in the United States, which is Lido Cyber that we closed a month ago and we are waiting for a green line from the US authority. So cybersecurity is extremely hot and many digital domain. We, we closed one in March, Liquid Hub. We will probably announce a few small ones in the future in Europe and in the US. So digital is the hotspot and AI. Everybody speaks of AI. AI will progressively infuse everywhere. We will have AI in analytics, of course, but in marketing, in manufacturing, AI will become the main factor. We move from IT to data science. Mr. Elmela, can I ask you about the political backdrop in France? Uh, congratulations for winning the World Cup, by the way. Uh, and uh, the president clearly uh, acknowledged and uh, celebrated that victory. But since then, there have been the scandal surrounding his bodyguard. Clearly, some of his reform measures aren't popular. How do you view the reforms in the labour market? Are they working? First, we, all our company, we are working on the simplification, notably, of the dialogue with the unions. There is a less workers' council, a less complex architecture, which will lead, to my view, to a smoother dialogue with the social representative. So I think that's working. The main point is all these kind of summer July agitation, we should see what will remain in September and will that slow down the pace of reform because there is a big reform uh, about to come on the retirement schemes and an alignment. That's a major one. And uh, we should all wait to see if the current political turmoil will slow down the reform. Are you spending more on hiring and training to keep up with demand in areas like iCloud? Today, today, the bottleneck is uh, the availability of skills in digital. We could grow more. Uh, we grow, uh, it's reported, we have grown in the second quarter 19% in the US, including a double digit organic growth. We are growing double digit in Germany, double digit in Scandinavia. The bottleneck is the availability of skills, digital skills, data scientists, 
these are scarce resources. On demand, we are poached by our clients, not that many by our competitors, but clients are poaching from us experts. That is the bottleneck today. So we have quadrupled our reskilling spend. We skill, we reskill our people very, very intensively. Mr. Ermelin, I looked on the Bloomberg and I discovered that last year 13% of your revenues came from the UK. It's a very important market for you. Are you preparing for the hard Brexit eventuality? What would a hard Brexit mean for Capgemini? The, the first point is we do not trade between continental Europe and the United Kingdom when what we produce for the United Kingdom w is produced there or from India. So literally at the first step, the uh, Brexit condition will not impact this. The point is, will it impact our UK clients? And that's most probable. So it may soften or weaken the demand in the UK or in some sector that export to the UK. So the hard Brexit possibility, I hope it won't happen, will have an indirect impact. What we say about the UK today is we expect a growth in the second half and the commercial, so not the public sector, but the commercial market looks quite resilient in the UK.